We humans have evolved pretty rigid skulls because we have big old brains that we have to protect. But imagine if every time you bit down on something, the bones of your jaws and cheeks and snout flexed and moved around your brain case. This is actually what happens when a lot of birds and other reptiles bite things. We call the ability of an animal's skull to flex and move cranial kinesis. And this special flexibility allows many modern animals to absorb and diffuse forces from biting things or various other behaviors. There's evidence that some non-bird dinosaurs may have exhibited cranial kinesis as well. But a new study by Dr. Ian Cost and colleagues shows that in Tyrannosaurus rex and its close relatives, this is probably not the case. By studying modern animals' jaws and running computer force simulations, they found that T-Rex's insanely powerful jaw muscles would have broken its own skull if its skull exhibited cranial kinesis. Thus, they've concluded that the joints throughout T-Rex's skull must have been tightly fused when the animal was alive, rendering it extremely rigid, inflexible, and capable of withstanding the forces generated when it chomped down with the full strength of its jaw muscles. Interestingly, this is consistent with what we see in modern crocodilians, who have also evolved rigid, inflexible skulls and extremely powerful jaws. You can find a link to the full scientific paper on this new study on my website, don'tmesswithdinosaurs.com.